are you interested in an entry-level telescope? This might be good for you. I don't know. I have no idea how to say this, Geisker. This box was in another box. I'm going to open this box and show you what's inside. This was inside the second box, and that box was pretty sturdy, and it was well packaged also. Let's open this up. This comes with an owner's manual. I haven't seen this. I haven't opened it yet. Well, there's a lot of stuff in here, and it's all in plastic. So I'm going to get this out of the plastic, and I'll be right back. I am not a telescope expert. I have a telescope that my parents bought for me in 1969. I still have it. I'll throw a picture of it up on the screen. It's, you know, like three feet long. I wanted something that was a little bit more compact. I'm hoping I can use this for a little bit of terrestrial work. And this has a much larger lens than the one that I've had since 1969. Looking at this right now, I'm going to say this is all 100% pure Chinesium plastic. It was inexpensive. If it works, it works. So that's all I'm interested in right this minute. I'm going to try to use this kind of like a spotting scope uh, for shooting. But if I can get a couple of shots of the sky, get two uses out of it, I'm okay with that also. Uh, what I've got here is a little tripod with a really, really inexpensive attachment up here. This thing was, I don't remember, $75, I don't know. I'll put a link to it and let you take a look at it. The legs are extendable in three sections. So it will get fairly tall, it looks like. Not real rugged. The latches are Chinesium plastic also. Looks like that this tray will mount into here. I know I could read the instructions, but I don't, from what I'm seeing right now, I don't think it requires instructions. This comes with a 10 millimeter lens, a 25 millimeter lens, and a Chinesium plastic 3X Barlow lens. Comes with a little spotting scope. I will throw some of this stuff together and we'll take a closer look at it. Now, one of the reasons I got this is for this really, really compact size. It'd be easier for me to transport than my old one. Secondly, it came with an adapter so that you can put your phone on here and take pictures or videos through it. And I like this. They, gave, they included a little shutter remote for your cell phone. The reason for that, anytime you have high magnification, Anything you do to touch this, like poking the screen on your phone to take a picture, it's going to move it enough that you're not going to be able to see anything. Let me throw some pieces together and I'll go see if I can get some pictures. Well, I'm afraid I don't have a good report for this telescope. I'll throw a couple of pictures up. I took a few pictures of the moon. Now, to be fair, the moon was sort of on the horizon. And you've got the little heat distortion um, coming up for that. But it's so difficult to aim this. I've got a, I took a shot of a target in the backyard at 28 yards. And I mean, I had to fidget with it for several minutes just to get it on that thing 28 yards away. So to me, um, I don't think I would even recommend this as a starter telescope for a kid there's so much slop in the mechanism if you tighten it down tight enough to get the slop out then you can't move it of course the moon or anything in the sky is as the earth rotates and as it orbits the earth that sit that um that relationship changes so you have to try to follow whatever it is even for terrestrial use on a stationary target it's so fidgety to get started and I was thinking it'd be a good starter telescope for a kid but to me it would be almost like 
buying your kid a bicycle with a flat tire and expecting them to learn on that. I just I just can't recommend it. I'll put a link to it if you want to look at it, but it's it's a no for me and this one's going back. So I wish I had a better report for you, but I don't. If anybody made it through this mess, I appreciate it. I gave this thing what I think was a fair shot, and that's the best I can do. So if anybody made it through here, I'm going to throw a couple of videos up over here. I'll catch you in one of those, or I'll catch you down the road.